Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So a lot of you have been asking about an update on Winnie, my RV, and how that's coming. And I wanted to tell you about that. Winnie's in good enough shape right now that I could take her and live in her full time. But what sounds really exciting to me is to take her to the next level, to do a lot of the finish work I wanted to do on her before I take her this spring and summer on a lot of trips and just live in her like I've been looking forward to doing. And so now I'm just really excited to keep doing work on her and to get help from people who want to keep doing work on her on this new property that I'm going to be living on for a little while that has everything I need. I really just believe in doing what feels right and for me this winter I didn't want to struggle living in Winnie in the cold or relative cold, cold for me. I really wanted to get away and experience tropical weather and go to Thailand and I wanted to focus on a lot of other things. And now the weather's getting nice here and I'm feeling really motivated to pick Winnie back up and work on some of these finished projects inside that I've wanted to do and I'm so grateful and glad that I didn't do it when it didn't feel like the most exciting thing to me. I think a lot of times we feel like, oh, we've started a project, we have to finish it right away. And while I do think that it's important not to start a bunch of projects and just leave them all out there, that can feel overwhelming. I also think it's important to check in and make sure you're doing what excites you. And now Winnie excites me again, and I'm really souped to share her with you and to share my progress on her with you. So take a look at some of the projects that I'm going to be working on in the next few weeks, month, however long. Okay, so here's Winnie looking as fine as ever in the Austin sunshine. Just getting some love today from this handyman fixing her tailpipe. He put up a video on how to do it with a soup can, some JB Weld, and a couple other things. I'll put a link to that here. Also on the outside of Winnie, I need to work on securing some of these compartments the locks don't work on anymore. On the back, I want to build a bike rack and storage for a spare tire. And then in this back bumper, I need to fix this dent so I can put the hose for the water tanks. Going inside, that's where Winnie's bed lives. It's not there right now, it's inside the apartment I'm staying at. Over here, I want to work on securing these curtains better. The glue and Velcro I've been using hasn't really been working, but more importantly, I want to finish around the windows first and around the ceiling above. Just a lot of finish work. I also want to put another coat of paint on the ceiling. After running a final test on our heating system, I'm going to secure up this area, ditto on the wires that track up the fridge, and finish this cabinet up here. I need to first hook up these wires to this control panel, which just shows me how the levels on my water tanks are. Back here, we've got the closet, which is pretty much done, in my opinion. In this area, I want to make a compartment where I can store probably a trash can and put, you know, use toilet paper there because I prefer not to flush it. And then back here, I just want to finish off that area where the pipe's exposed. In the shower, I need to caulk. I also want to caulk the joints in the walls I put up. I just painted them so they'd look nice in the meantime, but I need to finish all that. And then in the front area, I want to create a curtain that separates the cab from the living area. And I want to finish the store and get that ugly wallpaper off of there. So that's what I have on my list for now, at least, and more to come, I'm sure. Thank you guys for watching. It's so fun to share Winnie updates and the renovations and my travels with you. I'm so honored that you're interested and want to connect in this way. I always love hearing from you. Please leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.